in the forgotten village of Elgert Vale, where time seemed to stand still and the rustling leaves whispered ancient secrets, a peculiar carnival materialized under the cloak of night. Its rival, a clandestine affair wrapped in mystique, drew the attention of those with a penchant for the enigmatic and the bold curiosity to pierce the veil that separated the mundane from the extraordinary. A solitary figure, cloaked in shadows, beckoned the townsfolk to partake in another worldly spectacle, promising wonders that transcended the boundaries of reality. As the moon cast an ethereal glow upon the makeshift tents that dotted the outskirts, a motley assembly of tents and carriages transformed into portals to realms unknown. The air hummed with an uncanny energy, and the carnival's arrival felt like a clandestine pact between the mortal and the mystical. Intrigued and enticed, a group of locals, driven by an insatiable curiosity that bordered on obsession, ventured into the labyrinth of wonders that awaited within the carnival's confines. The flickering lanterns revealed a kaleidoscope of oddity as arcane artifacts, mystical creatures in ornate cages, and performers whose talents defied the laws of nature. Each step into the carnival deepened the sense of surrealism, and a surreal fog clung to the air distorting reality and making the ordinary appear extraordinary. The mysterious carnival, it seemed, was a manifestation of dreams and nightmares woven into a tapestry of the bizarre. The group soon found themselves drawn to a tent bathed in another worldly glow, its entrance guarded by a masked fortune teller who spoke in riddles and welcomed them to explore the realms of destiny. Hesitant but unable to resist the allure, they entered the tent and the air within crackled with a potent energy that transcended time and space. The fortune teller, cloaked in mysterious garb, unveiled a deck of ancient cards, each depicting scenes that mirrored the very fabric of the cosmos. As the cards were laid out, a narrative unfolded, foretelling the intertwined fates of the group. The fortune teller spoke in cryptic verses, weaving a tale of choices, consequences, and a destiny entwined with the carnival itself. The air thickened with an unspoken realization that a carnival was not merely a spectacle but a conduit between worlds, a harbinger of destiny that called upon those brave enough to confront the threads of their own fate. As the group emerged from the tent, the carnival seemed to pulsate with a newfound energy, and the once familiar surroundings twisted into surreal landscapes. The attractions whispered secrets of forgotten realms, and the performers moved with an ethereal grace, their eyes reflecting the cosmic mysteries they embodied. The carnival, it appeared, was a living entity, an anomaly that transcended time, drawing the curious into a cosmic dance where reality and illusion seamlessly merged. The night unfolded with each tent revealing more enigmas a hall of mirrors reflecting alternate realities, a tunnel of shifting illusions and a carousel that spun not only in circles but across dimensions. The boundaries of Eldritch Vale melted away, and the carnival became a cosmic nexus, a transient bridge between the known and the unimaginable. Yet, with each revelation, a palpable unease settled in the hearts of the explorers. The carnival, once a beacon of wonders, now exuded an unsettling aura, and the air echoed with distant whispers that spoke of bargains made in shadows. The fortune teller's prophecies lingered, raising questions about the true nature of fate and the price one paid for glimpsing behind the cosmic veil. As the first light of dawn touched the horizon, the carnival began to dissipate like morning mist, leaving behind an empty field and a lingering sense of bewilderment. The once curious souls, now marked by the carnival's touch, returned to Eldritch Vale forever changed by the spectral dance between destiny and the unknown. The forgotten village resumed its quiet existence, the carnival becoming a half-remembered dream. Yet, the enigmatic figure in the shadows lingered, its laughter echoing through the air.